fields. A field is a triple F plus times, where F is a set, and plus and times are binary operations on F, satisfying several properties. So the first meta property is that F plus is a commutative group. Remember that being a commutative group means that we satisfy the following. Closure, for all X, Y, and F, X plus Y is an F. Associativity, for all X, Y, Z, and F, X plus Y plus Z is equal to X plus Y plus Z. Commutativity, for all X, Y, and F, X plus Y is equal to Y plus X. Identity, there exists an element zero in F such that for all X and F, zero plus X equals X plus zero equals X. And inverse, for each X and F, there is Y and F such that X plus Y equals Y plus X equals zero. We will usually write negative X for the additive inverse of X. So X plus negative X equals negative X plus X equals zero. The next meta property is that F star comma times is a commutative group. Remember that F star is the set of non-zero elements of F. So F star is F minus the set containing zero. We're just removing zero from the set F to form F star. So F star times being a commutative group means that we have closure for all X, Y and F star, X times Y is an F star. Associativity for all X, Y, Z and F star, X times Y times Z is equal to X times Y times Z. Commutativity for all X, Y and F star, X times Y equals Y times X. Identity, there exists an element one in F star such that for all X and F star, one times X equals X times one equals X and inverse. For each X and F star, there is Y and F star such that X times Y equals Y times X equals one. We will usually write X with an exponent of negative one for the multiplicative inverse of X. We read that as X inverse. So X times X inverse equals X inverse times X equals one. The third big property is that multiplication is distributive over addition in F. So that means for all X, Y, Z in F, we have X times Y plus Z is equal to X times Y plus X times Z. And Y plus Z times X is equal to Y times X plus Z times X. The first one is called left distributivity and the second right distributivity. And finally, the fourth property is that zero should not be equal to one. In other words, the additive identity needs to be different from the multiplicative identity. Here we have all of the properties listed simultaneously. These statements together are known as the field axioms. Remember an axiom is something that we're assuming to be true. So the field axioms are all the statements that we assume to be true whenever we're talking about a field. Our primary example so far of a field is the set of rational numbers. Okay, the set of rational numbers together with addition and multiplication is a field. We can remove the star from four of the five properties but we cannot remove the star from the multiplicative inverse property because zero is not allowed to have a multiplicative inverse. Full commutativity without the star allows us to remove right distributivity because it follows from left distributivity together with the commutativity. If we eliminate three of the axioms, namely commutativity, the inverse property for multiplication and zero not equal to one, we get a structure called a ring. Okay, so a ring satisfies most of the field axioms, but not all of them. We've seen rings in detail in the last section. 
A set of integers together with addition and multiplication is an example of a ring that is not a field. Okay, let's look at some more examples. As we've said already, the set of rational numbers together with addition and multiplication is an example of a field. In particular, every non-zero element of Q has a multiplicative inverse. The inverse of the non-zero rational number A over B is the rational number B over A. We could see this from these computations. A over B times B over A is equal to AB over BA, which is AB over AB, which is one over one, and that's equal to one. And similarly, B over A times A over B is equal to BA over AB, which is equal to AB over AB, which is one over one, which is one. The set of real numbers together with addition and multiplication is another example of a field, as well as the set of complex numbers together with addition and multiplication. Here, addition is defined by a plus bi plus c plus di is equal to a plus c plus b plus d times i. And for multiplication, we have a plus bi times c plus di is ac minus bd plus ad plus bc times i. The set of integers together with addition and multiplication is a commutative ring that is not a field, as we've already said. The only integers with multiplicative inverses are one and negative one. They are each their own inverse. In particular, two has no multiplicative inverse in Z, or equivalently, the equation two X equals one has no solution in Z. Recall that for each positive integer N, Cn plus times is a commutative ring with additive identity zero and multiplicative identity one, where here plus and times are the operations of clock addition and clock multiplication on the set Cn equals zero through n minus one. We have seen that for some values of n, by removing zero from Cn, then Cn minus zero together with multiplication clock multiplication is a group and for others it is not. For example, if n equals two or n equals five, then Cn minus zero together with clock multiplication is a group and therefore C2 plus times and C5 plus times are fields. However, for n equals four, we saw that C4 minus zero together with clock multiplication is not a group and therefore C4 plus times is not a field. It turns out that Cn plus times is a field if and only if n is a prime number. A prime number is a positive integer that has exactly two factors. We'll be discussing prime numbers in detail in the next lesson, lesson four. Let's look at an example. Consider the following addition and multiplication tables. We have already seen that the set 0, 1, 2, together with addition and multiplication as defined by these tables is a commutative ring where addition and multiplication are defined by these two tables. Uh, if you forgot this, then you could pause the video, go back to the video on rings and watch that example one more time. Or better yet, you could try to generate these tables yourself. Okay, in fact, with these tables, it turns out that the set 0, 1, 2 together with addition and multiplication is actually a field. The elements one and two are each their own multiplicative inverses, right? Because one times one is one according to the table and two times two is one according to the table. Once again, these are the addition and multiplication tables for the field C3 together with clock addition and clock multiplication. Let's finish with an exercise. Determine if each of the following is a field. Okay, now's a good time to pause the video, try this exercise yourself, and then resume the video to check your answers with mine. Okay, so C11 together with plus and times, that's clock addition and clock multiplication. Yes, this is a field because 11 is prime. 
And what about C15 together with clock addition and clock multiplication? No, because 15 is not prime. 15 can be factored as three times five.